Hey everyone, got a little bit of a life hack for you today. Um, I did this about 14 years ago and uh, it's changed the way that I take out the garbage. Honestly, it sounds silly, but um, as one, many of you guys probably have these uh, kind of toter standard issue trash cans, uh, this one I own. I know some, some companies rent them out with the garbage can, the garbage uh, service. Um, this one, like I said, it's about 15 years old, but the key point is we have a long gravel driveway, um, about 500 feet long driveway. And every week when we take this down the driveway, it, uh, it used to bounce around, you know, and be really loud. And I tend to use a, um, a little dirt bike to take my, my trash can down to the end of the road. It's just a lot quicker. And whenever I tow that down there, it would make a lot of noise. It would hit the rocks, it would tip over, and it was just uh, annoying. So I searched around to try to see what other types of tires exist. And I found these, actually, you can get them at Harbor Freight or Tractor Supply. A lot of different places sell them for like less than $10 a piece. I think on sale for six bucks or something. But they actually slide onto the standard shaft uh, with no modifications. They have an integral bearing inside them. Um, and they're incredibly quiet. Uh, I actually don't even put any air in them and they work perfect. Uh, this is actually my second set. The first set wore out after about six years that the tire itself just started tearing apart. Um, but the great part about it is you can go down gravel driveways um, completely silent and you can go at, when I tow it with my little dirt bike, I can go 20, 25 miles an hour um, and no, no problem at all. It hits rocks or potholes and it doesn't tip over uh, and it's really perfect. So. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys a little tip. The only thing is when I took this, the other plastic wheels off of here, um, it had these little caps that I had to pop off. I kind of had to somewhat destroy the cap to get it off of here. Um, the other side is still the, the stock one. You can kind of see it's just, in, on my style, it's just a flat cap that's kind of um, hammered on there. But um, once I got it off, um, again, the, the shaft, the whole shaft slides right out and you just slide the shaft through the new tires. And uh, I just drilled a hole in the shaft and put a little, you know, cotter, cotter key in there. But um, you can do all sorts of different uh, designs uh, just to, to hold it on there. So anyway, just wanted to give you a quick little tip. The only other thing is when I put these tires on, it, it did require um, a little bit of a spacer. I found just like a rubber washer that I had laying around to go in on the outside of the tire to make up the difference. But overall, you can see that the width and everything is actually perfect. Um, and like I say, it makes no more noise going down the end of the driveway and back. So anyway, just a quick tip for the day. Hope you found it useful. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.